here with Dr. Romano to do a problem on nuclear chemistry. Hi, I'm Dr. Romano. I want to go over a question with you regarding nuclear chemistry. There are a few questions in the Dat Destroyer that I put on nuclear chemistry that I think you'll enjoy and are challenging. I want to show you a really challenging problem to really drive this concept home. So come on over and let's have a look. In a nuclear reaction, we're going to be transforming one element into a new element, and we deal with very unstable nuclei. The one thing that's very different about a nuclear reaction than a normal reaction that you're used to seeing is that it's, the rate is unaffected by temperature and pressure and things like catalysts. So this is some very unusual chemistry in which we see one element transforming into another element. What we're going to do is we're going to find the energy released in joules when only a tiny, tiny amount, one milligram, boy, that's a small amount, of uranium-238 decays by an alpha emission. And I gave you the masses of an alpha particle, which is nothing more than a helium nuclei. But notice we often put plus plus there. So a helium nuclei stripped of its electrons is an alpha particle. The true mass is 4.00150 AMUs. I give you the true mass of uranium-238 and the true mass of thorium-234. The first thing we want, to, we want to do is to find the energy, or how we go about doing it is to write the reaction. So we're going to write 238. You look up the atomic number on the table that's provided for you on the dot, and you're going to get 238.92U. If you split off an alpha particle, that's a 4,2 helium. So notice the upper left is 238. Here you got a 4, so you need a 234, because 234 and 4 makes 238. If this is a 2, this has to be a 90. And if you looked up the atomic number 90, you see it's the element thorium. Now, anytime you have an alpha decay, as you can see, the atomic mass has decreased by 4, and the atomic number is decreased by 2. It's a sure bet question on the exam. Now, I want you to never forget something. The products always weigh less than the reactants. So what we're going to do is to calculate what is known as the mass defect. So the change in mass or the mass defect will be the sum of the mass of the products minus the mass of the reactants. If you added up the mass of the products, which is one alpha particle, and one thorium nuclei, you add 4.00150 and 233.99419. And you subtract that from the mass of the uranium, and that was 238.003. That gives you a negative number. The negative means mass has been lost. And that is the mass defect, which comes out to be negative 0.00. 461 AMUs. Now the question is, what can we do with this mass defect? The mass defect is going to be converted into energy. So I want you to come to the board and look at how I finished this out. What I did was I take, I've taken the mass defect, which is minus 00461 AMUs, and I use this conversion. One gram is 6.02 to the 23rd AMUs. So that's the gimmick. You needed to know that conversion. And then one kilogram is 1,000 grams. And that gave me minus 7.66 to the minus 30 kilograms. Now what? I then use that mass and I plug it into what is known as the Einstein equation. And as you can see, delta E is delta mc squared. So there's the mass that we just got. The speed of light is a constant that's given us 3 to the 8th. We square it, and we get negative 6.894 to the minus 13 joules. Now, this represents the energy for one uranium nucleus, and that's where the trick, where this gets a little tricky. One nucleus means for one atom. So hold that thought. One nucleus of uranium gave off minus 6.894 to the minus 13 joules. We had one milligram. So if you convert one milligram 
Notice that there's a thousand milligrams to one gram of uranium and there's six to the 23rd atoms in a mole or 238 grams of uranium. That gives me the total number of atoms and boy, that's a lot of atoms. 2.53 to the 18th atoms. If each atom is six point, minus 6.894 to the minus 13th in energy and you multiply them together, that gives you the total amount of energy, which is minus 1.744 to the 6 joules. You're probably not going to have to calculate something that extensive, but I just wanted to show you how you would relate the mass defect to energy. So the mass defect is converted into energy by using the Einstein equation. For the DAT, make sure you understand how to do alpha decays and beta decays, and you understand that the products will have less mass than the original reactants. All right, I hope this gives you some good insight into how to solve these problems. All right, bye-bye.